Hi everyone, I am Lauren, I am sister number five, and today I'm going to share with you 30 minute chicken recipes that are going to change your life. I currently have a two year old and a one year old, so the chances of me getting more than 30 minutes of uninterrupted time to make dinner are usually pretty slim. So I love quick and easy recipes like this because I can usually throw them together without too much chaos happening in the background. If you are looking for more easy 30 minute meals like this, make sure to check out our 30 minute meal plan on prepare. I'll put a link down in the description for you to get more quick and easy meals that are done from start to finish in 30 minutes. Let's jump into it. The first recipe that we are going to be making today are our barbecue chicken burritos. To start, I have three chicken breasts just cooked and shredded. I actually bought this in my deli to avoid having to cook it at home, which is a really great shortcut if you're short on time. Then I have one third of a red onion that I've chopped up pretty small, just a dash of salt and pepper here. I also have some soft flour tortillas. You're gonna need about six of those. I have my favorite barbecue sauce. This is what my family loves, but any barbecue sauce works great. You can decide on how spicy you want to make it. You'll need about two and a half to three cups of Colby Jack cheese shredded and some cilantro. Now I don't have fresh cilantro on hand, but I do love using this free dried cilantro in recipes like this because it doesn't require me chopping. We know how short on time I am. And as soon as I add this to my wet ingredients and get it cooked up, it tastes just like regular cilantro and this lasts a lot longer. So if you're someone who doesn't use a whole bundle of cilantro when you buy it, this is a great option for you too. I have my chicken in a mixing bowl all shredded and ready to go. So to this, I'm going to add about three fourths a cup of barbecue sauce and I'm just gonna eyeball it. You could never have too much barbecue sauce. I'm going to add in my onion about two cups of cheese. You're gonna wanna just make sure to save a little bit of cheese for topping these burritos at the end. Just a little bit of cilantro and mix all of this together. I love quick meals like this, especially when I buy my chicken already shredded up and ready to go because I don't feel like I'm spending so much time in the kitchen. And when five o'clock rolls around and someone asks me what's for dinner, I'm not in a huge panic because I know that by 5.30, 5.45, I'm gonna have something done. That's my favorite part about following that 30 minute meal plan is that every meal that comes in the plan for the week is done in under 30 minutes. So if you're busy, if you're working, if you need some time, this one is perfect. Okay, now that this is done, I'm going to get everything ready to cook my burritos. Okay, to assemble my burritos, I'm just going to lay a tortilla down on a plate. I'm going to take about one half a cup to a third a cup of barbecue mixture and just set it in the center. You're gonna wanna leave about an inch on each side for folding up the burrito. Once you feel like you've got all the filling in there, you're gonna top it with a, just a little bit more cheese. And from here, you can either just roll it up kind of like a taquito, it will still work great, you just might lose a little on the ends, or here's my trick. Take the two sides and bring them together, pinch them down with these two fingers and with your thumbs, bring up the other back of the tortilla, fold it, and you've got a burrito. So we've got nothing coming out of this end, nothing coming out of this end, not the prettiest, but when I cook it, I shouldn't lose any of my filling. So I've got some oil heating up on the stove. Let's go cook these burritos. Okay, I've heated up about two tablespoons of oil here, so I'm just going to stick in my burritos. I'm going to start with them seam side down so we can kind of get that seam sealed a little bit. The best thing about recipes like this is that they are super easy for small hands to pick up and dip into things or just to pick up and eat. You don't have to chop everything up. There's not a lot of pieces to it, so it makes it a really kid-friendly meal. Most of the meals in the 30-minute meal plan are kid-friendly and they are just so perfect and so convenient. Okay, I'm going to be keeping them here for about one minute until they turn a little bit golden on the bottom. You can see a few that I have already done. Over here look just golden and perfect. I'm just gonna check it and make sure that they're done. Ooh, are you ready for this? Wow, <laughs> that looks so good. Okay, I'm gonna flip the second one too and just make sure to get both sides really, really well. I'm still gonna push this down a little bit. They have a tendency sometimes to kind of 
peak open. So we will keep these down. Okay, I wish you could smell this because it's smelling so good. I'm going to add this to my stack. Perfectly cooked barbecue chicken burritos in under 30 minutes. Should we try them? Okay, let's give these a try. They're a little hot, so I'm a tiny bit nervous, but. Yeah, that's good. Dip that in ranch. So good. Our second recipe today is an easy chicken cordon bleu French bread pizza. Each recipe calls for about three to four chicken breasts. So I'm just going to dump these all in. These are all frozen. So we're just gonna add one cup of water and then put the lid on. Now we're not gonna really season these. If you want to, you can, but I'm not going to today. Okay, make sure your lid is on. And then this is the old school. This is our Lux, which I still love and I still use all the time. So it has a manual button. So if you have a manual or pressure cook button, it's the same. So we're gonna push pressure cook. And then because it's frozen, we're gonna cook it for 25 minutes. So you can set the timer for either the negative sign or the positive sign when it hits 25 minutes. Then you can just walk away and it will cook. Oh, and one of the most important things, don't forget to check your little knob. Make sure it's on the ceiling, not venting. So I had a French bread that I just cut right in half. Then you're gonna put just your favorite Alfredo sauce and we're just going to spread it on just like you would a pizza sauce. So depending on how thick or thin you like your sauce, my kids don't like a ton of sauce. So we'll just kind of spread it out a little bit. Oopa. All right, so we have about a teaspoon of Italian seasoning and a teaspoon of garlic salt that we're going to lightly sprinkle on top of the Alfredo sauce, just to give it just a little bit more flavor. I like to add it where my sauce is so my kids can't see the green stuff inside of their pizza. <laughs> All right, and then just a little bit of garlic salt, just to give it a little bit of flavor. Okay, next we're gonna add four cups of mozzarella cheese. Now, I love just buying the huge big bags. Um, this one has eight cups, so we're just gonna use about half of it. Oops. So about two cups per half of French bread. So just kind of spread it out. Now I'm making it on a cookie sheet just because you're gonna have stuff that will fall off and it will just kind of catch it, which is what we like. So it doesn't have to be pretty or fancy or professional. We're just, we're cooking for our families, so. Okay, a little bit more cheese. Okay, now it's time for the toppings. Now, because it is chicken cordon bleu, you need a little bit of Swiss cheese. So we do have one cup of Swiss cheese here. We're just going to put it right on top of our mozzarella. Now, this seems like a lot of cheese. You don't have to have this much, but I, my kids love cheese on their pizza, so that's what we're doing. Okay, next we're just gonna add our ham. So I just bought this cubed ham from Kroger. I love how it's already cubed so I don't have to worry about cutting it. It's just ready to go. So this is where it kind of gets tricky. As you put on your ingredients, you kind of want to press down as you go because like I said, it will, they will fall off. So we're kind of pressing, pressing as we go. All right, do both pizzas. Sorry. <laughs> okay, next we're just gonna add a little bit of bacon. So this is about a half a cup of bacon. You can cook bacon and cut it up yourselves. I just like to use the bacon bits because it just makes my life a whole lot easier and makes this recipe super simple to make. All right, now it's time for the chicken. Can't forget that part. So we're just gonna squeeze this out. Make sure there's no juice in it. There we go and just carefully, like I said before, carefully put on your chicken because you have chicken cordon bleu, you need the chicken. Oh, it looks so good. All right, a little bit more chicken here. <laughs> now, obviously, if you made this earlier, you won't have all the juices and stuff. I'm just making it all today, so that's why there's juices in there, but you can drain it out and just put it in your fridge when you're ready for it. Okay, we got our chicken, we got our ham, we got our bacon. 
Last thing we need is just a little bit of green onions on top. You don't have to do this. I like it, it just gives it a little bit of pop of color and makes it look, and makes it taste good. Looks good, tastes good, that's all good. Okay, Whew. All right, we are ready. Holy Moses, these are huge pizzas. All right, so we are gonna cook this at 400 degrees for about 10 minutes. All right. It is all done cooking. It looks so good and smells so good. I'm just gonna cut it for you just to see. So we usually cut each one, oh, I don't know, like four or five pieces in each French bread. But these are big pieces because there's a lot of toppings on top. All right, let's, let's taste it a little. Mm. Oh, that's good. Oh, you guys need to make this one. <laughs> And the last recipe we have for you today are our easy 20 minute taco cups. Yes, that's right. 20 minutes, start to finish. You're gonna love this one. The five ingredients for this one include some taco seasoning. I like black beans. We also have some refried beans, some tortillas, and then some cheddar cheese on top. Now, you can add chicken to this. You can use canned chicken. I love to use the shredded chicken. This is actually just at Walmart. Super cheap. It's great. You get a good view there. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, so first we're gonna take my refried beans and just pour it into a little bowl. Sometimes they are sticky. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, and I'm gonna take my taco seasoning, just dump it right into that bowl. Now I'm not gonna use the whole packet because it's kind of strong, so I'm gonna use about half of it. And if you know me, you know I like to eyeball all the things. Okay, and we're just gonna mix the taco seasoning into the beans. Now for the fun part. So I have my little muffin tin here and I have my, my tortillas. Now I heated them up in the microwave because we want to make them into little cups. So we're just going to kind of make them into cups. I like to press down the bottom so it's a little flat on the bottom. I don't know if you can see this very well, but yes, kind of press it down. So we'll just do that a few times. Well, let's do three right now, just so I can show you. Then we're gonna add just a spoonful of the refried beans, just right into the bottom. Mm, I love refried beans. Now, if you don't like beans, you can definitely just use the chicken for this, but I, you're missing out if you don't like beans. It's all I gotta say. No, I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. All right, then I'm gonna add some black beans in here too, because it just makes it good. So I just literally just do a scoop of black beans. Next up is just a little bit of cheddar cheese on top. We're gonna stick these in the oven. We want our cheese nice and melty. All right, you're gonna bake these at 350 degrees for about five to 10 minutes. We're gonna go five minutes just to melt the cheese. Now, you can leave them just like this. This is, this is your five ingredients, but you guys, it's tacos. <laughs> I need a few toppings, so I apologize. If you add toppings, they will be more than five ingredients. I'm gonna add a little bit of tomatoes because I love tomatoes. Then a little bit of lettuce. And then like sour cream. I like a little bit of avocado. There we go. This is our awesome taco cup. All right, you guys, thanks so much for joining us. If you want more 30 minute meals, I've got some good ones right here. All right, we'll see you later, bye.